안녕하세요. Hi everyone. Welcome to this Korean, Korean class again. This is step one, um, grammar part, third class. The title of this class is 저건 해물파전이에요. 저건 is 저것은. 저것은. Short form of 저것은 is 저건. This is spoken language. 저것은 해물파전이에요. That is 저거 that eats 해물파전. 해물파전 is Korean style of pizza, which is made of seafood, which is 해물, and 파, that is green onion. In this lesson, we're going to focus on studying the meaning of 이, 그, 저, and the function of 이가, which is subject particle, which is attached after um, subject of the sentence, and 에 있다 없다, which is expression for existence. So 에 있다, that means there is, there are. And 없다 is negation of 있다. So there isn't, there aren't. Let's start with expression of 이, 그, 저. 이, 그, 저, this expression is used when you um, when you are, are denoting something, when you are I indicating 사물, which is object. If you denote certain subject, a certain object or things or stuff, these expressions are used. 이것, that is this in English. 그것, it. 저것, that. When um, when object is close to the speaker, 이것 is used. When the um, object or stuff is close to the listener, 그것 is used. However, when the object or stuff is far from speaker and listener, 저것 is used. This, it, that. And if you are indicating a certain place, these expressions are used, which are 여기, 거기, 저기. 여기 is here, and 거기 is there. 저기 is just over there. 여기 is used when the certain place is close to um, the speaker, and 거기 is used when the place when the certain place is close to the listener and 저기 is used when the certain place is far from speakers and listener and um if if the person if you're indicating a certain person you may use 이 사람 그 사람 저 사람 that is 이 사람 this person 그 사람 the person 저 사람, um, that person. A person is close to the speaker, 이 사람 is used. When the person is close to the listener, 그 사람 is used. And when the person is far from listener and speaker, 저 사람 is used. These are example sentences. 여기는 회사예요. Here's the, my workplace. 회사 is company or workplace. So 여기는 회사예요. That means, that might means, um, here's my workplace. Here's my company. Then, 그것은 해물파전이에요. That is, it is 해물파전. Then, 저 사람은 한국 사람이에요. That person is Korean. Okay, take a look at this picture. He is speaker of this conversation and he is indicating pencil and she is listener of this sentence and she is holding a pencil here's conversation do not um do not see please not to see this sentence just ignore it just take a look at this picture and this sentences um, he says, he might say, 그것이 뭐예요? Cause, this pencil is 
close to the listener. So 그거 can be used. 그것이 뭐예요? And the she can answer. Yes, 이것은 연필이에요. Because this pencil is close to the speaker. So she can she might say 이것은 연필이에요. Then here's a clock. Uh, this clock is far from the speaker and close to the listener. Okay. In that case, 그것이 뭐예요? Again, what is it? 그것이 뭐예요? And she might say, she might answer, 이것은 시계예요. Then, um, he and she, uh, he and she are indicating this building. This building might be the hospital. So, this um, building is placed here, which is far from this listener and speaker. So, 저기 can be used. 저기가 어디예요? Where is that place? And what is this building? 저기는 병원이에요. That is, hospital. Then, this person is far from he and she. So, in the case, 저 사람이 누구예요 can be used. Who is that person? And then, he or she might answer, 저 사람은 한국어 선생님이에요. That person is Korean teacher. Again, 저 사람이 누구예요? 저 사람은 한국어 선생님이에요. Then the second part is subject particle 이가, which is attached after subject of the sentence. If the um, if when there is ending consonant uh, in last syllable of previous noun, which is subject of the sentence, e is attached. However, when there is no ending consonant in last syllable of previous noun, ka is used. That is kind of um regular rule. 학생, so e, 의사, ka. There is no difference in meaning. Here, there is no meaning and just grammatical function. But, um, existence of, according to existence of this and in consonant, e and ka is differently used. Sometimes e is used, sometimes ka is used. 이름이 뭐예요? What is the name? Yes, in the case e is used because there is an in consonant here. 이름이 뭐예요? And then, 아이가 피자를 먹어요. Um, the child is eating pizza. 아이, 가. 아이 is subject of this sentence. And then there's no ending consonant here. So, 가, subject, particle, is used. Yes, let's practice it. 시우 씨, 가, 운동선수예요. Mr. 시우 is sports player. And then, subject, particle, 가 is used. So, there is, cause, there is no ending consonant here. Likewise, 시우 가 학생이에요. Is 시우 a student? And 직업이 선생님이에요. My job is teacher. And 저 사람? Yes, 이 러시아 사람이에요. That person is Russian. Then, 제가 유진이에요. Um, 저 is polite form of I. However, when ka subject particle is used, 저, 저 change it to 제. You have to remember. 제가 유진이에요. I am, I am 유진. 제가 유진이에요. So, again, 시우, 직업, 이. 이 사람, 이, and 제가. I am 
using. Then, last part that we're gonna study today is blah blah e, itta, opta, that is expression for existence. Uh, there is, there are, is meaning of blah blah e, itta. However, opta is negation of itta. There isn't, there aren't. Here's a place in e, itta, opta. 교실에 있어요. Um, 교실에 없어요. There is something in the classroom. There isn't something in the classroom. Take a look at these example sentences. 볼펜이 가방 안에 있어요. And it's in. So, 볼펜 있어요. It's in the back. So, 있어요 is eats, eats. And glasses is, we is on, on the desk. 의자 위에, 의자 is chair, we is on. So, 의자 위에, 의자 위에. 책이 있어요? Is there a book on the chair? On the chair? The book? No, 없어요. There isn't. There isn't a book on the chair. 가방에 펜이 있어요? 없어요. Here's the bag. 가방에 펜이 Yes, isayo. There is pens in my bag. There is pen in the bag. 교실에 의자가 있어요, 없어요. This is classroom, and there are chairs. So in the classroom, there is chairs. And 책상 위에 안경이 있어요. 책상 위에 책상 위에 No, there isn't glasses on the desk. 없어요. So there isn't glasses on the desk. We is on. Then 칠판 앞에 칠판 is here. Up is in front of. So 칠판 앞에 that means in front of blackboard. 선생님이 있어요, 없어요. Is there a teacher here? No, there isn't teacher here. So there isn't teacher. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. 감사합니다.